Teamwork. That was what I lacked back then. Obito, you sacrificed your life to teach me that. The price was far too great. But the ideals you left behind still live on today. In my heart. And in theirs as well. Of course, they didn't get it right away. When they first joined my squad, they had some pretty tough times. Especially Naruto and Sasuke. Those two kept the word teamwork at arm's length. Just like I did, way back when. That's why I trained them through battle, like Minato Sensei did, to teach them what's important to a ninja. Naruto and Sasuke. I truly believed in their hidden potential. Get out of my way, Sasuke! That's my line, you screw up. Come on then, show me what you've got. Let the battle begin! You know who uh Kakashi reminds me of? He reminds me of uh, Sasuke when he was young. Selfish, doesn't care about anybody, no teamwork. Every time I see that, this just looks overpowering. Always looks overpowering. Can you imagine how smart you would be if you used a lot of Shadow Clones to study? You had like freaking 20 degrees in one year. Okay. Naruto is uh, bringing the heat. I gotta watch myself here. Him and Sasuke have like a uh, freaking 40% extra damage. Just for no reason. No reason like that. They just do. It's the way Naruto works. How is he blocking all that? It's pretty crazy. Alright guys, it's not good. All that freaking 67% uh, extra damage is getting to me. Or 40%, whatever it is. Lightning shiver. I'm gonna have to play the smart guys. Ooh, this is not good. Ooh. Down to the wire, guys. A freaking 1% life left. Well, if you're that good, I guess you pass. For New Genin, they fought against me better than expected. The point wasn't to see if they could beat me. If they learned the importance of teamwork, then it was a success. Their results? I guess an A-plus wouldn't be out of the question. After all, they understood what I was trying to teach them in their own unique way. Still, not everything went as smoothly as I had hoped. Obsessed with revenge against his brother Itachi, Sasuke parted company with Naruto and left the leaf. After Sasuke left, Naruto began training under Jiraiya and Sakura under the fifth Hokage. Each of them had their own new path to follow. But they were each motivated by a single purpose. Which is why when Naruto returned after three years, I decided to test them. I wanted to see not only how far they had progressed, but whether their teamwork had improved to see how far they had truly come. All right, let's do this, Sakura. Kakashi Sensei, here we come. All right then, show me how much you both have grown. Let the 
the battle begin. Holy cow, guys, they have freaking 70% extra damage. I'm gonna have to be cheap here and do everything I can to not let him touch me. What kind of shit is this? 70% damage? You might as well say I'm facing the stage at six paths. This uh, Rust Singun took like half my life. It'd be so awesome to have Kakashi as your teacher. If I couldn't be paired up with uh, Kakashi, I'd probably want to be paired up with Guy Sensei. Because they're both pretty much hard working. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know why, it's kind of funny to me how uh, Kakashi walks like that. Ooh, Sakura is doing everything he can to help Naruto. So I'm gonna have to bring out the shining gun. Oh! There we go, baby, it's over. You see the shotting gun, you see you're dead. So that's all you got, Naruto? That were Singon? I see. Their hearts are... Incredible. They easily surpassed my highest expectations. It wasn't just their strength, but their character which surprised me. The two had the spirit of teamwork. Though years had passed, there were things that Naruto and Sakura would always remember. I knew now that the ideals we left behind would continue on into the next generation. The two of them were ready to be called real ninja. Two ninja who had grown up straight and proud before me. I couldn't have been happier. Teamwork. Bonding with your comrades. Obito, Rin, and Sensei. All three of them taught me those essential points. And now... These kids finally get it. And it's up to them to pass on what they've learned to the next generation. The next era is just around the corner. And me? Well, sooner or later, I'll... There he is! Huh? Hey! Kakashi-sensei! Come on! Lady Tsunade has a new mission for us! Let's go already! Right, I'm on it. But, I'd better keep an eye out just a little longer. I'll be back. What were you doing anyway, Kakashi-sensei? Huh? Well, how do I put it? Just spacing out again, I bet. Mm, not exactly. Just thinking about life. I got wrapped up in my thoughts. Yeah, I see. <laughs> New missions rock, right? Aren't you psyched, Sakura? Aren't you? I am. I swear, you have a one-track mind. Yep, you know it. <laughs> This is a hard choice, but I'm gonna have to go with Gara here.
Sasuke Uchiha, we need to talk. Kazikage. You block my fire style so effectively. Gara of the sand. Your eyes are still as they were in the past. Like you, revenge was once my reason for living. But I came to realize that vengeance does not resolve anything. It's not too late for you. Do not be so obsessed by hatred that you escape into a world of solitude. Or else you will not be able to return. <laughs> if I were to return, what is there for me? Firestock! Phoenix Flower Tooth! And Shower Barrage! Sand! Sasuke, you're a lot like me. You've been walking through this world's darkness. That's why even a tiny ray of light ought to reach your eyes. Whether in the past or now. I shut my eyes a long time ago. The things I seek... lie only in the darkness! Sand Burial! The hatred you once felt is nothing compared to what I'm feeling! hold only darkness now. You're consumed by hatred, a bitterness towards the world, and you're unable to trust anyone. You even rejected the one who tried to help you. You're exactly how I was. Amaterasu. I was lost. In the depths of darkness. Alone in the darkness. No purpose. Only to lash out in hatred. No friends. Only solitude. That was me. That's how I was back then. During the Chunin exams at the Hidden Leaf. I believed the whole world was my enemy. I felt that only Sasuke Uchiha had that same something that I did. We were two of a kind. In the exam finals, I was matched up against Sasuke. It seemed as if I was finally fighting against one of my own kind. I was shaking with excitement. I was so overjoyed I could barely contain myself. Come then. Indeed. Show me how it feels to be alive. Let the battle begin! Every time I look at Gara like this, he always freaks me out. I mean, look at that face he makes. Ooh, got him. I didn't think I'd be able to get him that quick with my uh, special jutsu there. What is that? Only my ninjutsu? What the hell? Oh yeah, I can't use my ultimate jutsu. 
I forgot, it's one of those requirements for this match. It's gonna be a match of Kaijutsu. Ooh, that uh, fire cell is getting annoying. It does a lot of damage. Every time I see Garo use that sand style, it always looks overpowering, but uh, I'm sure it's pretty weak against water. Ooh, I jumped right in front of him. What was I thinking right there, guys? I'm gonna have to go ultimate mode here. Be even more crazy to beat Sasuke. You're lucky I have no substitution, Sasuke. What the heck, where is mine anyways? I only have one. There we go, it's regenerating guys. Now I can go into battle. I think it's over guys. Sasuke continued, the more exalted I felt. But as my heart soared, Shikaku, the presence inside me, likewise grew ever larger. The urge to destroy grew strong, and I lost myself. That's when he appeared. Naruto Uzumaki. Though he held the same presence as me, he had chosen a different path. I had embraced hatred, while he had chosen the exact opposite. I'll never lose to you! Fascinating. Fascinating! Naruto Uzumaki! 